Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be taking another look at the Dell XPS 13 Plus after having used it for almost a year now. And it's actually just about to be released in the Philippine market, which is why I would like to thank the sponsor for today's video, Dell Philippines. So today we're going to be testing out the more creative aspects of the laptop, like photo and video editing, but I'll still be running through some of the tech specs. It's just not going to be like a deep dive. That being said, if you want a more in-depth review, you might want to view my previous video linked up here and in the description below. With all that being said, let's get started. The first reason why you're probably looking into the Dell XPS 13 Plus is the design. It's definitely a looker and I am definitely guilty of that. Even 10 months after its initial release in the US, its design and beauty is still unmatched. From the touch row all the way down to the seamless glass touchpad, it embodies minimalism and class. Not to mention it's made from 100% recyclable and renewable content, crafted from low carbon aluminum and made using renewable energy sources, all in an effort to reduce the carbon footprint. And I think they did a great job from the sustainable packaging all the way to the product itself. So the chassis is crafted with CNC machined aluminum and it has a beautiful finish. And when you open it, you're greeted with glass accents, the design on the touch row and palm rests. Now I was a little nervous to be carrying around a laptop with so much glass, but within my months of using it and traveling with it, it's held up really well. But looks aren't everything right does this beautiful laptop actually deliver well the configuration i have is the base model i5 1240p chip with 16 gigabytes of ram and one terabyte of storage now i typically go for base model devices because i feel like it's a good way to assess whether something is good or not because people always tend to buy base model devices and in my experience with the base 1240p chip i think it's been fantastic because it's been able to address all of my needs as a content creator now there are different i5 and i7 variants and i can't personally speak for the other chipset but if the base model is this good it can only get better from here all models also ship with intel xe graphics but of course there are different configurations depending on where you buy the laptop as well now, for the display you can get a full hd plus 3k or 4k panel now personally i went for full hd plus ultimately this helps save battery life but it still looks great regardless of it not being on the higher end of the spectrum the videos and pictures look crisp and vibrant making it a great device for media consumption as well as for photo and video editing so today we're going to be showcasing the video editing capabilities of the XPS 13 Plus. We're going to start the edit of a camera comparison video, namely between the X-T4 and the X-T5. But before we get started, I'm going to run through the different codecs that I use. So the main A-roll footage, the talking head shot, is shot on my Fujifilm X-S10, shot in 4K, 200 megabit video, 8-bit 420. But everything that I'll be overlaying over the, the talking head shots are shot with the X-T4 and XD5, 4K, uh, 360 to 400 megabit, 10-bit, uh, 422, and 420. So prosumer codex. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. Fujifilm XT4 and XT5 compares. So we're about an hour in and the fans have turned on but they're not wearing so loud so yeah i would say that's pretty normal Okay, so I 
think I'm gonna be ending my edit for this video here. There's still a lot more to do. I just really wanted to showcase what editing on the XPS 13 Plus looked like, live editing. And I think it did a really good job. Everything was played back at a full resolution and I can't stress how impressive that is. Not to mention, I'm also screen recording. So yeah, I think we have to give Dell a pretty big pat on the back for that. But now I wanna showcase the export time. So I'm just gonna close this and open an older file. So this is what the timeline looks like, three 4K angles. We're gonna go ahead and export this and I'm gonna be timing it as well. Okay, so right now it says that it will be done exporting in 12 minutes and 43 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and time that right now. Okay, and it is officially done. So it took a little longer than expected. 12 minutes and 44 seconds, but honestly that isn't too bad. So that pretty much concludes our video editing test. Initially, when I first got this and started using it, I was very impressed with the video editing capabilities and I still am to this day editing 4K videos on this even though I upgraded my camera and all that in the past few months. It's still able to keep up and export times are pretty good as well. So yeah. Now let's go over to the photo editing portion of this video. We're going to be editing four photos in Lightroom, all of which I took during my trip to Singapore last year. So the first one is a photo I took in the Central Business District area, right across from the Merlion. The second one is a photo I took in the cozy neighborhood of Tanjong Katong. The third one is one I took in the gardens by the bay. And the fourth one is in a very cozy cafe home ground coffee so yeah let's get started I've had this Dell XPS 13 Plus for over 10 months now. And I think that's a good enough time to tell whether or not something is good or bad. And I've used it for everyday tasks like web browsing and media consumption, and it's been perfect for that. But I also make YouTube videos that has a lot of video editing, script writing, and some light photo editing. And it's able to edit all my 4K videos with ease, and it can edit my photos from my 40 megapixel high resolution Fujifilm X-T5. So yeah, it's able to keep up with me wherever I bring it. The XPS 13 Plus is a laptop that looks amazing and performs just as good as it looks. It's incredibly thin and lightweight, which is invaluable to creatives and content creators on the go. And you'll be able to do pretty much everything you want to either get started or to keep pursuing your goals. Unleash your ultimate creative potential and do the most with the Dell XPS 13 Plus.
so that is pretty much that for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you have any more follow-up questions please comment down below and i will try my best to get to you like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one